everybody. I hope you're all doing amazing. I am here today in one of my back veggie patches and I have got these little guys and I actually wild foraged these just recently and Kathy and I spent the day out on the road and while we were out we came across a few apple trees. I'm actually going to use these in a recipe and show you how I heat seal my apples in recycled jars. I'm going to be doing just plain apple and then I'm going to also do a savoury apple stew and I'm going to seal that as well. If that sounds like something that might interest you, hang around and watch because I'm also going to be using fresh herbs that are from my garden. So, Okay, so let's get going. We're going to go harvest our herbs and then we'll head back to the kitchen. Well, it's mid-February now and all the produce is coming in quite fast. So I'm starting to do some preserving and whether you are freezing or dehydrating or even canning, I thought I'd show you just one way that I actually preserve a lot of my fruit and vegetables that is quick and easy and you can use recycled jars to do this. And I really want to make it simple so that it doesn't overwhelm you and it really helps you in the kitchen save time. Okay, well, uh, as per usual, I got a little bit distracted and it's now a couple of days later. <laughs> Uh, a couple of jobs came up, so I had to go and do those. But I have harvested the rosemary and I've also got the beautiful sage from the herb patch. And I am now, it's such a beautiful day, I'm now going to sit outside and just um, peel the apples. So what I do is as I'm peeling them, I keep all the scraps and that, that will actually go to the pigs and the chickens. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to save some of the cores for scrap apple cider vinegar. And just a great all-purpose sort of thing to have um, ready to go on the homestead. So we're all about waste not, want not. So whatever we're using here, we can reuse for other purposes as well. So, so while I'm peeling, I thought I'd just kind of... Um, fill you in a little bit I guess just on some things that are happening on the farm. I have had to have my car evaluated because my car got really badly damaged in the storm in the hailstorm as well and I have heard back from the insurance company about that and the actual total damage to my car was 16000 Australian dollars so it's got to go in and get fixed and they're going to need my car for probably around three weeks so it's a fairly big job but that's just still we're still dealing with some of the aftermath here from that storm so also we are I have set up a stall at the front of the farm so now I have a farm gate stall where um, I actually am selling my flowers from so uh, that's been really good. I no longer have to drive all the way into Geelong, which is really handy. Okay, so now we can get the jars ready just by rinsing them under hot water and giving them a good clean. Then we stack them onto trays. Both the lid and the jar will need to be sterilised. And you can see I use recycled jam jars here. If you have a look under the lid here, there is a rubber section and that is the seal and that needs to be in really good condition so that it seals thoroughly. And you also want to double check the jar and make sure that there's no chips or cracks around the top because that will impact how well it seals. Okay everyone, I am now in the kitchen and I am doing the apple prep as we speak. This is scraps that we are recycling for my scrap apple cider vinegar. So all of that, that you can use the skins, the cores, any offcuts of the apple can be used to make this apple cider. So hop down into the description and read the recipe that I put below, but don't waste any of your scraps. Either give them to your animals or use them to make a byproduct like apple cider vinegar. 
Now, I don't really have a recipe as such for doing my apples, but you could hop online and do a search. I just really cook the apple with some water in the bottom and add either herbs or spices. For this recipe, I'm using sage and rosemary, but you can be creative and try a whole lot of different flavors. While the apples are cooking on the stove top, you can finish getting your scrap apple cider vinegar ready. And that really is just adding the water and using some kind of a fermenting weight. I use plates. If you've got a proper one, you can use that. And then you can just add a piece of muslin cloth over the top of that to protect it. And that just sits for a few weeks. So the apples have been cooking on the stove top for probably only about 10 to 15 minutes and they're ready to go, they're stewed and I've taken them off the heat and they're sitting there to the right in the saucepans and I've taken my sterilised jars out of the oven and I'm going to be adding the apples to the jars while they're both hot. That way the jars don't crack and everything's at the same heat so that when you put the lid back on the jar, it actually seals because everything's the right temperature. One thing you do want to make sure of is that there's no air holes or gaps as you're putting it in. So if you need to, just push it down with a spoon or some other utensil just to make sure that it's all really airtight. I always make sure that mine are filled right to the top so that there's no air at the top and that just helps it seal a bit better too. And now we're just gonna give it a really good wipe around that top part there so that the seal is really able to connect properly with the jar. And my friends, it's really hot at this point, so make sure when you are sealing it really tightly, you use a tea towel to hold it because you'll burn yourself. And then you just need to let them cool down. Okay, so my final tip, the way you can tell whether they are actually sealed or not is by pushing the tops of the lids. So if I push through these, they're sealed. Okay, so if it's not sealed, that's the noise it'll make. And the top is actually quite springy. So you want the tops to be firm and hard and not be able to push them in like that one. Well, thank you so much guys for your amazing support and for watching today. I just want to thank you and um, let you know how much I appreciate each of you and thank you for watching today. Uh, Sadie and I are off to do some work now down in the community garden. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.